Welcome back to Italy, a place which holds very, very happy memories for you. I mean, let's go back to I think, 2014, wasn't it? Wasn't here, obviously, um, but I mean, you tell me better than I can tell you what that week was like for you. I mean, to be honest, let's start out. I can't believe it's seven years ago already. <laughs> Time flies. It's absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, that was my second win on the LET and it was amazing. You know, everything was just falling in my way and it was you know, it was in Italy, my grandfather is Italian and it was my hundredth event, my mummy was caddying, it was just, everything just kept coming and then I hold my shot on 14 in the last round um, and then to win by one. I mean, it's just, it's just meant to be. Yeah, I mean, it really was that, that, that 14th, the Albatross, which is so rarely seen on tour, let alone ca caught on camera. Is it right that you, your mum said something to you like you need a, you need a birdie and then you, you got an albatross? Exactly. So she was, I, I just like missed the fairway. I mean, I'm like a metre off the fairway and she said, oh, Flory, you're aiming wrong. And she doesn't play golf. Yeah. So for someone to say that, she's like, oh, you're always a bit right here. And I said, it's fine. It's a better angle in. She's like, well, I hope we can come back next year and you can birdie this hole. And boom, albatross. So she was happy. And I remember the, the scenes on the 18th green. I mean, it was obviously sheer joy. And I mean, as you said, it was lovely to have your mum there to share it with you. Exactly. So I, I, I parred the last. Um, Holly Clyburn was in the final group, so she still had a chance um, to make birdie and then go into the playoffs. So I wasn't quite sure if that was enough or not. But, you know, I was thrilled. I mean, it was an excellent par. I, I still think the chip on 18 is nearly better than the albatross I made, just considering the circumstance. As I said, obviously it was in a different place, but back in Italy with a golf club in your hand at a professional tournament, are any of the similar sort of feelings coming across as you went out there in your practice round today? I mean, it's crazy. I just, I don't know, everyone's so nice to me here and it's just, I feel so comfortable and it's, yeah, it's just great being here. And um, I played really well today, which I wasn't really expecting in the Pro-Am and the seven birdies. I was like, wow, you know, I've not done that for ages. So I'm hoping it's giving me, you know, some good vibes for being back in the country. And it seems like it's so good to me. And I'm, I'm hoping that's like my 15th club this week. And do you feel any extra pressure on yourself because of, you know, winning in Italy before this week? Or actually, is it just, you know, a joy, a nice thing to... Been there, done that. So, um, no, no, no pressure. I'm just happy to be here and that we've, you know, finally can come back to Italy. Um, and there's no pressure because I just feel everyone's so happy and so nice. And, um, yeah, I, I've done it. Obviously, it'd be great to do it again. But I'm just looking for, you know, a nice, solid week and... Um, hopefully another albatross. Well, good luck to you this week. Thank you.